Now for a second demo, I want to show you some scripting. Let's look at this button, display latest sales order. It's not working yet, so I want to record an automated step behind that button to display my latest sales order. And to do so, to do so, I will start at the basic screen. I go over here at recording, and I will record the transaction VA03 to display the latest sales order. Enter. And that's about the basic scripting that I want to have. So I will stop the recording. It will display me a pop-up. So demo VA03, which now will record the scripting steps I have taken. And I can go back. Now I need to upload it to the script to my button. So I go back to the screen that I have created, to the landing page. And I need to take to create a copy to change this screen. Demo cyber. And with that, I make my personal flavor of the screen. And double click on the button. Now I can select the file that I have just created. Demo. And here's the script that I have just recorded with screen personas. And now you can see that the transaction will work. Save and exit. Click on the button. And you can see that now the button has some functionality behind it to display the latest sales order. You can see that this screen is not modified by Screen Personas, it's still the standard screen. And to show you some basic SAP Screen Personas possibilities, I will create a copy of this screen as well to add to create a flavor. Is it VA03? And now I can go ahead, I can display, I can change colors, I can change buttons, I can remove buttons. For example, the title bar, um, I want to change that, display standard order, and I want to change the color of it to something purple on the background, some white on the foreground, and I do not want to see this button bar, but with, keep in mind, I want to go back in my transaction, or I want to cancel my transaction, I want to have that possibility. But the remaining parts are not relevant for this end user. This bar is also not relevant. And the background of the screen should be white. There we go. And also some information that's on available at item level, we can put it on header level. And select the sales area. Put it somewhere here. And I will position it better later on. And I can also get information from several tabs, for example, the item information. I can just pick it up and put it somewhere else. For sake of speed, I will not finish customizing the screen completely. I will show you the one that I have prepared before. And here we are back on the standard screen of the display sales order. And to show you what is possible, I go to my own flavor. And here you see that I have combined item information and header information and some part of the header information onto my own personal screen. 